All right, here's what we're having for breakfast, guys. Jennifer got some donuts at the store so that we can get a quick breakfast going so that we can get out the door and get a good early start on our big adventure trip today. We're heading to the coast and uh, needed to get up early too so that we can get the cats fed early, get them all pottied out so we can clean the boxes out so that they can make it through a long day of us being gone and not being able to clean it out. Gonna to try to get them up, get them playing, moving around, and just get cleaned out and hopefully last till we get back later tonight. It's really good. Like a different type of bread in that stuff. Tastes Got a different. Waffle donut there. <laughs> I think I should have stopped at two donuts. The third one is Mm -hmm. kind of feels like it's pushing me over the edge. I'm tempting to have my glass of water before I eat anything and my daily bread. Okay, so you guys going to be good for us, huh? No pottying outside of the box, no tearing anything apart, nothing like that. Huh, huh Skittle? Is that, is that deal? How about you, Blackie, huh? Pretty much all we have to do is pray, and then we're gonna hit the road. Here we go. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. It's a beautiful day. Pray that you guide and lead us in our filming and telling the story and sharing about you. And God, we just uh, look forward to this trip. Again, ask that you protect us and protect our vehicle. And uh, just uh, pray that you would just guide and lead each of our steps today, God. And Again, we just thank you for this opportunity and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Taking a little uh, rest stop over here where we can see a little view of Six Flags down there. And it's starting to get foggy so we can feel a major weather change already. They were taking another little break here. I think we're maybe a half hour out, but I kind of think we hear some seals out here. You guys hear those guys? So I think the fish wholesale market over here kind of throws over some of their fish and these guys get it. And I think he's saying he wants more. Where we had our anniversary here in this area a few years ago. Well, they're huge. Fort Ross, historic, state historic park. So let's see what we can see out here. Looks cool with this fog flowing over the land out here. It's kind of cool, but it's breaking up. It looks like it's going to get sunny, too. Check this out, guys. So the park actually isn't open today, so we, we need to walk down in there to check things out, but they allow you to do that even when it's not open. You just have to park outside along the road. Can't come down in the parking lot, but I'm gonna go check it out, see what's going on here. So this is Fort Ross, which is here just outside of Jenner. And um, it's a Russian outpost. Uh, it's one of the first, I believe, in this area. And also, um, I think it was like maybe one of the first um, harbors for shipping in this area. 
So we just decided to come and check it out and see what it's all about. We'll take you with us. Alright, we made it to the windmill. It doesn't look like we can go up there though. Looks like we could just look at it from down here. So apparently this is one of the first windmills to be built in California and it's a Russian style and apparently this is a replica but the original one actually had no nails in it and then this is what they would use to um, grind grain to make flour to make bread for everybody here at the fort. Looking forward to seeing what all God has for us to see on this little adventure here. It looks cool these buildings over here. Look at this. We're here to see the wolf, right there. That's what we're here to see. Is there any way in? No. Guess there's gonna be something to see down at the beach or something for us then, huh? You know, this is back from the 1800s here, but man, it was incredible the technology that they had back then. My shoes got soaked. The ocean is just my comfy spot. I could just sit and watch the waves forever. I love it. I love the diversity of the rocks and shells that are along the beach. I love watching Matt try to run away from the tide that's coming in. He's gotten soaked pretty much from head to toe thankfully we brought some extra clothes for him and he just about lost his flip-flops it's a great day <laughs> kind of thinking that matt likes the water really cold but it feels so nice <laughs> um, you would actually like it you want to come? Yeah, all i have to tell you is you have to be ready for a big wave. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. You have to be ready to run. I think I'm gonna take a little walk over here to the uh, point, see what I can see over here. what these are but there's some interesting colors on that plant down in there look at that is that just seaweed i don't know
we thought we it was gone, huh? Yes, we were planning a trip to Target. And what did we do? Pray. We were looking for it, and then Mom says, I see it, and I'm, I, I, I at first thought, what? She was just trying to make it there or something. And then I looked, and I'm like, oh, and I'm, she told me to run down, so I just did. And I said, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's there. But, um, so what do you say? Is awesome. <laughs> oh, don't do it. So good. Yeah. I had no idea that we're changing rooms out here, but I guess so. <laughs> now I need my shirt. So we talked to a ranger coming out, and apparently the last few days the fog has kind of stayed in just on and off all day, but he said today was the first day that it's burned off and it's been this nice. So thank the Lord for that. Gave us a good day to come out here. Right, hon? Uh -huh. Jennifer was trying to find a good uh, spot to eat and I think she may have found one. All right, guys, I guess that's going to be it. I think we're ready to head home. <sighs> it's been a nice day. Got a long drive back home, but we got to get back. We're already going to be getting back late for the cats. So praying that they're okay and not getting in any trouble. So here we go. Ready to head back home. There they are. How did you guys do today, huh? Mystery when we get home. How did you guys do today? Let's see how these guys did here today. I don't see anything on the floor. So awesome. We got to get. Go ahead and clean those babies out, dude. This and is like my favorite part of the day. It is. No. It's not really mine. It's not mine. Either. I'm glad you like it. You could take mine then. My my turn. I was completely kidding. Oh, okay. Cool, dude. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah. Right on. All right. So mom's feeding, and Matt's cleaning. So I guess I'll start bringing stuff in then. While the cats are out of the way. For being so good. Good job. Night guys, today was a pretty nice day. It was fun, I'm glad that we went. It would have been nice if the fort would have been open, but um, we still had a great time. Got a little sunburn. And um, I think my favorite part was God bringing Matt's flip flop back. Because I kid you not, that flip flop was like, it was gone for like a good five, ten minutes. Only God could have brought that flip-flop back. If you know anything about ocean currents and all that, I mean, I was very thankful. I, and that's God for you. God kept us safe. We got to see some cool things, some cool scenery. So I think we had a great time today. I think 
think everybody's ready to crash out now. We've got everything pretty much put away, cleaned up. Got the footage put on the computer, so I think we're going to call it a night. God bless you guys, and see you on the next adventure. Good night.